Jesus is all we need. It's all we could ever hope for. It's all we could ever ask for. It is finished. He said on the cross, it is finished. Everything you're asking for, everything you're hoping for, everything you desire, it is finished. It is done. Thank you, Lord, that we can just praise your mighty name this evening, that we can just thank you for who you are and for what you're busy doing in our lives and what you've already done for us. Lord, we are just standing here with gratitude in our hearts, Lord, and we stand in awe and an expectation of what you're going to do, Lord. Lord, tonight I just pray that you will come and give your word life, that you will come and let it fall on the fourth soil in every heart and let your word change us and achieve what it needs to achieve. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen Amen. and amen. You may have your seats. So I asked the question a little bit earlier, but many of you weren't here. Who's had a good week? Who's had a not so good week? Who's still deciding how their week is going to go? Okay. And hopefully the word is for you today. Because I, I want to speak to you about seizing the day, seizing the moment, grabbing an opportunity when it arises. Because that's not what I did today. Just going to be like full disclosure, yeah? Uh, I was in my office and our receptionist, Rachel, one of my friends, comes up to me with the other receptionist, Shani, and says, you need to come with us. Like, where are we going? <laughs> like, I'm always booked for sport to do something during the day. But what are we going to go do? We need to go record a song. <laughs> Say what? We need to go do what? Now, I heard some talks around the church that we need to go record a song. I'm like, you know, <laughs> my grandfather always used to say, you know what? You should take up singing. You should take it up to the moon and leave it there. <laughs> like, that, that, that's the kind of things he used to say about my singing. And I'm like, you know what? This is unacceptable. Why are they doing this to us? Why are they forcing us to do this? I, I'm, I'm a counselor, and this is causing trauma unnecessarily in people. Like, this is not, and I don't know if you ever do this, when, when, you, when you need to do something and it's tough, you start moaning. You start like, I, I'm not going to do this. I, I, I'm going to quit. I'm going to run away. They can't do this. It's against my rights. I was like, um, I, <coughs> I think I'm sick. You know, you start making all these excuses. And, and, I, and I was thinking about it like, you know what? I couldn't even 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 it in time. My brain had already shut down the idea of me going to go stand in a recording booth with people listening to me sing. Like, put me to sing in a church. I'll clean the church out quick, quick. <laughs> people will leave. So anyway, they, they start like going up and down and they're like, no, we have to go and do this. And some of our other friends have already been. Then I hear you have to sing alone. You can't even sing as like a group, like a trio. No, no, no. Stalk still alien in the booth. And you can hear the, the, the track and you can hear the voice, but all they hear is you. <laughs> I'm like, we don't do live auto-tune in this place. This is going to be bad. And you know what? I, I just, I thank the Lord that he just gave me a little bit of a joy in my heart. And I was like, okay, let's go do this. But I, I'm sweating just thinking about it. Okay. We're like, let, let's just go do this. Let, let, let's just do it. Let, let's just go. Now, the other one's doing the makeup. I'm like, we're going to sing. We're not going for a, we're not doing the whole music video. <laughs> like, like what, what, what? No, let's just go. So we suck ourselves up and it's like, I don't know. It feels like walking towards death row. <laughs> like, my life is going to end. There is a book that came out um, by a lawyer, Emma Sadler, that, that was teaching children about the, the dangers of social media. And it was, don't film yourself having sex. And I was like, you don't film yourself singing because then people have something to hold against you. <laughs> like, they will see. So I, I'm just going through all this anxiety and, and on this way. And I was thinking, you know, how can I relate this into a message? And I'm going to get to the story just now of where we go. So just bait fast for it. Um, look, uh, the first thing, and I want to go from the book of Joshua. So you can read from Joshua 3 right till probably the end of Joshua, but I'm going to land at about 9. Okay, so Joshua and him taking over from Moses and taking the Israelites to the promised land. He had big shoes to fill. Today, on the way to go and sing, we have singers in the church. There are big shoes to fill. Like, the auntie, Auntie Lane, that took us into the room, is a singer. I'm like, I'm not singing in front of a singer. I said to her, you, turn around and get out. 
So she left. So Moses has these, uh, uh, Joshua has these big shoes to fill. And my first point is we need to start embracing the unknown. You know, I, 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 I was scared. People, I don't get scared easily. I will speak in front of people. I will go into situations where I'm way over my head. But today I was scared. And I was like, God, I can't do this. If I could have cried, I would have cried. I don't know if any of you go through situations like that where it's just easier just to cry. <laughs> like go into the fetal position and say, Jesus, take me home. But embrace the unknown. And, and this was Joshua now getting to the Jordan River. If you know the Jordan River at the time he got there, it was in full flood. Like there was no way we're going to get 3 million people, roughly 3 million people to cross this river. And God said to him, just go and put your feet in the water. Just go and do it. Trust me. They tried to convince me today. <laughs> just trust us, man. It's going to be okay. I'm like, y'all are ladies. The ladies seem to sing better than the guys. Like it comes easier. Okay, I'll get to the story just now. Let's go there. Now the Jordan, this is in Joshua 3, verse 15 to 16. Now the Jordan is at flood stage, during, all during harvest. Yet as soon as the priests who carried the ark reached the Jordan and their feet touched the water's edge, edge, the water stopped flowing from the top and it dried up for them to cross. You know, there's going to be challenges in life where we just think we're not going to be able to do it. But when we get to the edge of the Jordan and we take that leap of faith and we put our feet in the water, we realize, hey, God's going to come through for us. He's going to be with us in this situation. I'm going to do full disclosure. I didn't even think of praying. I just thought of running. Like I was going to lie my way out of this situation or moan and just be the loudest voice in the room that just akvair on the tune. Okay, so three things we learned from this story is that we need to embrace the change, but it's going to take courage and it's going to take trust to do something. I don't know what it is you need to do or what you're standing at the, the edge of, but it's going to take some trust. Maybe it's your recovery. Maybe it's a healing in your relationship. Maybe it's a new job. Maybe it's a uh, selling your heart. Whatever it is, it's going to take some trust and not trusting in yourself and your ability, but trusting in God and having courage. Amen? Amen. Step into new opportunities with faith. It takes faith. Hebrews 11 verse 1. Now faith is the confidence in what we hope for and the assurance about that which we do not see. We need to take a step of faith. That's how we get into things that we need to do. So it's a, quite a walk from our offices to the bottom when you feel like death row, but it's literally about a two-minute walk, but it felt like an hour. And you know, I start sucking myself up as we walk in, and I start like getting ready for the music video, and I start like amping myself up because we're going to do this, and we get into the studio, and the guy's like, okay, Brian, you're up first. <laughs> like, what the heck, people? Why me first? I need to see. I've never heard the song before. It's an original. Never heard it before. They sent us the lyrics about two weeks ago. I didn't read the lyrics. I was unprepared for the unknown. I'm like, okay, now you've got to get into this like, recording studio and you've got the headphones on and you've got this intimidating microphone in front of you, you know, like you've seen in the movies when people are like really recording. It's like legit. He's the oak sitting that side. He's like, don't worry, we'll fix all the mistakes afterwards. <laughs> Like, bro, me being in this box is a mistake. <laughs> like, that was your first mistake. Never mind auto-tune and fixing. Bringing me to my second point is, you know what? We need to face the giants with faith. At this point, she's like, the lady, before I get into the box, she's like, the three of you strike a pose for the video. So I was just getting into character. I was like, I'm going to sing. I got this. Then the other people are like, no, we're not going to do that. I'm like, turn around. When she says three, you turn around. Get into show business. Because you know what? We need to face the giants with faith. We need to say, I'm here. There's a giant in front of me. I can turn around and I can run or I can fight with everything inside of me. And that moment, I channeled, I don't know if it was Aretha Franklin or if it was Michael Jackson, but it was something inside of me. And I said, I'm going for gold. <laughs> Full disclosure, I don't think I can sing. I am not the guy you're going to see on Idol saying, you know, my mom told me growing up that I can sing. No, she didn't. I know I can't sing. I shouldn't be here. Face your giants with faith. Joshua 6 verse 20, when the trumpet sounded and the army shouted, all the sounds of the trumpet went. And when the man, men gave a loud shout, the walls of Jericho came 
down. They had faith that God would deliver them in front of these giants. They would give, he would give them the city of Jericho. So you've got to stand there. You've got to shout. You've got to jump. you just got to get excited. At this point, I don't know if it was adrenaline, if it was fear and nerves, or if it was the Holy Spirit, but I was ready to get into that box. I didn't know what I was going to do in there. I didn't, like I said, I didn't know the lyrics. I'm like, can I just hear the song once? Like, just, can we just play it through once? He says, no, what we're going to do is we record everything. We probably won't use your first take, but we're going to record it anyway. I'm like, okay. Am I going to hear my own voice in my ears? He says, yeah, do you think you can sing and listen at the same time? <laughs> We're at this point, I can do anything. <laughs> like, I've got this in the, in, the, in the bag. This is done. Let's go. So we get into this thing, and I, I, I trust that he knows what he's doing. And, you know, it was magical because he's got this very calming voice. And he says, you know, the energy in that box is a lot better in there than it is out here. He says, it feels very lonely in there, but you just give it your all. I'm like, Brie, you, you can just speak more. I'm going to fall asleep because your voice is just soothing. He's like, don't worry. There were people that were much worse than you're going to be. I can play you them first if you would like. I'm like, no, 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 it's fine. And he plays the first song. I don't know if you've ever tried to be in a recording studio singing a song. I felt like a nonna. <laughs> I don't often feel like a nonna, but we felt like a nonna. Step number three is learn and adapt. <laughs> you in this moment have to learn and you have to, I don't know, like I said, channel in all these superstars that uh, could be coming. And this reminded me of Joshua and the battle of AI. They went in, they didn't do what God said. They didn't do, uh, they kept some of the stuff that was kept, that was supposed to be given to God. One of the guys by the name of Achan kept some of the stuff and they lost the battle of AI. They had no reason to lose this battle, but they lost. And Joshua had to learn and adapt and find out what the problem was so that they could go back into AI and actually win the battle. So when you're standing at your battle in the recording studio, you're in there, it's soundproofed, you have two ladies laughing at you. Because like, I don't know if you like shaking and you're like standing there and you're gonna try. I got a clipboard and I'm holding the clipboard with the words, my glasses are steamed up. I can't read the words properly. I'm just like, okay, let, let, let's just go. You need to learn and adapt. So we start going and it's like, eh, eh, eh. and then the lady starts singing really high and I, I, I want to go down so that I can actually sing a bit lower. And he's like, no, 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 try and get to where she is. No, I haven't sang like that since I was three. Like, I can't reach notes like that. What are you doing? And I had to learn and adapt. And you know what? In that moment, I just decided, stuff it. I don't care anymore what people think about me. I'm this deep in. Now you're just going to give it your all. And I start singing. And I was thinking, now there's people listening and they're just looking at me. They're taking videos now, like, of me singing in there because I'm getting this, like, whole little jam behind there with the clipboard. And I'm like, yeah. And then I want to start holding the microphone. He says, don't touch the microphone. I'm like, this was my moment to shine. I'm adapting to the circumstances in here. We finished the song the second time. You got to sing the whole song. It's not a long song. It's like five chapters or verses or whatever. You see, I don't even know what they're called, but I had to sing it. We get to the end and I'm like, no, 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 do it again. I think I've got this. We can do this again. He's like, I think we got enough now. I said, I said, we're going to do this again. From the top, let's go. I've got the words now. Get my little beat going there because I've adapted now. Now I'm singing. I made him do it five more times because I was going to do the best. But then he says, we've got enough. Like, really, we've got enough. I'm like, do you have any other songs? Because I'm like fired up at the moment. Because you see, when we get out of our comfort zone, because your comfort zone is where your dreams go to die. I never had a dream to sing. I'm going to just tell you that. But I had so much fun in that room. When I stepped out, the two ladies were like, we didn't know you could sing. I said, neither did I. <laughs> Let me sing enough times, I'll show you I can do it. How many things in our lives do we not know that we can do until we get into the box, forced into the box, and you actually have the time of your life? Then we were like, no, now we want to sing together, and can you help us with this, and can you do this? And he's like, guys, go. <laughs> like, we're done. Then he played us back. Please, 
I will not be sharing that with you or trying to replicate it because it was, it was bad. I, I can hold a note, which is fine. Like, that, 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 that was okay. But when he started playing Everybody's Together, I was like, this actually sounds quite good. This like knows what he's doing, a little bit of auto-tune, and I actually sound like I could make some money off of this. You know? So step number four, persevere through your hardships. Just push on. Just keep going. Just keep fighting. It's going to be difficult. You're going to sweat. I, I, I was like, in such a hype after that, I was like dancing, and they singing, and I'm like standing there flossing while they, by the window, and I'm just like, I got this. Like, this is so much fun. I got back to the office, and I was like, to Sarissa, and then when they got there, I was like, you're all going to record tomorrow. I'm going to go with you. I'm going to record again. <laughs> like, I got this. I found my calling. Singing really badly in a little recording studio. Because you persevered through the hardship. I didn't want to do it. I'm going to tell you, I didn't want to do it. I, I literally got to the point where I was like, I'm quitting my job. <laughs> like, I'm going back to corporate because they never forced me to sing at corporate. Persevere through your hardship. We think of Joshua, and, and Joshua was deceived by the Gibeonites. By the, yeah, by the Gibe- no, I can't even speak. I'm so excited about the singing. By the Gibeonites. They had made a treaty with them. These people had deceived Joshua. They got dressed in like old clothes. You can go read this in uh, Joshua 9. They got dressed in some old clothes and they deceived Joshua. And Joshua actually made a peace treaty with them when he was supposed to go in and overtake their land. And he was a man of his word and he had to now honor that peace treaty that he'd made. And it was difficult because now I needed to go and destroy you and now I'm kind of like stuck with you. So, you know, there's times in life where things are not going to go the way you planned. Things are not going to always be awesome, and things are not always going to be good. But you know what? Perseverance in challenging time is the key to increasing capacity. Because I can tell you now, I'm not going to pursue a career in singing. I'm not. But you give me an opportunity to be in that recording booth again, I'm going to be, hey, let's go. Get all the singers out the room, because the boss is in town. (laughs) going to sing. Don't want to hear it afterwards either. I'm just going to enjoy the journey. Enjoy the ride. And sometimes in life, that's what we need to do. We need to enjoy the journey to get somewhere. It's not so much about the destination. It's not about the fact that the song was half decent. It's not about the fact that I want the recording so I can go home and listen to it. It's about the fact that I conquered something that wanted to destroy me. I got ugly this morning when I was asked to go and sing. And how many times in life do we do that? Now I would have never known what it feels like. (laughs) I don't know, I'm sitting here thinking I maybe still didn't want to know what it feels like. But it was was fun. So in the trials and in the hardship, just push through. Amen? Amen? Amen. Romans 5 verse 3 to 4 says, Not only so, but we also glory in our sufferings because we know that suffering produces perseverance, perseverance, character, and character hope. When we go through tough times, it builds something in us. You don't grow in your comfort zone. Are you pushing yourself out of your comfort zone? Are you doing things that are different? Because you don't grow when it's easy. Trees grow because the wind tries to push them down all the time. The wind makes the trees strong. You grow trees without wind, they're flimsy trees. You try to grow people without trials, they become flimsy people. The last point I want to do is foster strong alliances. If my two friends didn't come to me and say, you know what, we've got this, and then push me in the front to say, you're going first. <laughs> Sometimes you need your friends to push you in front. Sometimes you need to. Then another friend phones me this afternoon, and she says to me, uh, You sent me a message at five o'clock this morning. I'm only getting it to now. My day's nearly finished. And you were like, oh, before your day starts, I want to get in here. I said, sorry, I really couldn't get hold. I couldn't like answer you when you tried to phone me in the afternoon because I was in the recording studio recording a song. She's like, what? I was like, no, 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 no. For work, we had to get into the recording studio. She says, can they set it up for us this weekend? I want to come with. I want to try it out. I was like, those are the type of friends I want. Say, we we can hear you suffered. (laughs) We want to suffer too. We want to come and try it out. We want to be stretched. She says, you know what? Before Christmas, we released an album. I was like, I said to her, you know I don't do backups anymore. 
I am the lead vocalist now. You can come and ship, ship, ship at the back here. Said, you know, that's what going through it gets. But, but coming back to, to having f- strong alliances with people. Have people that are going to push you out of your comfort zone. Have people that are willing to go with you out of your comfort zone and out of theirs so that you can grow. We tend to surround ourselves with people that tell us what we want to hear and do what we want to do and just are okay with how we are. When I had to walk away from two of my best friends when I came clean, it was not because of who they were. They were really decent people. They didn't do drugs. They didn't drink. They weren't bad people. But it was who I was allowed to be around them that was the problem. They just accepted me wholeheartedly and lovingly. And I was like, I can't be that person. They were like, why not? You're a nice person. I'm like, yeah, but I'm a nice person destroying myself. And I had to walk away. So surround yourself with people that are going to force you, force you to be a better version of yourself. Come on, bro, you can do this. You got this. You know, like the whole way there, you got this. We, 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 we're going we're gonna to kill it. We're going to do this. <laughs> like, yo, somebody kill me, like right now. But anyway, Joshua 9.15, then Joshua made a treaty of peace with the same people that had betrayed him. He chose to make the best of the situation and to honor the treaty that he'd made with them. He surrounded himself with people that wanted the same thing as them. He made peace with them and let them live. And the leaders of the assembly uh, assembly then ratified it by an oath. They then made it a decree that they wouldn't hurt these people. These people could work for them. They were saved. Surround yourself with decent people. Bad company corrupts good character. In conclusion, when we embrace the unknown, when we face our challenges with faith, when we learn and adapt, when we persevere through hardship, and we have strong alliances, we can make it through anything. You can even get into a recording studio (laughs) and record your very first really bad song. You'll get to hear it one day. But with the 45 other people who got to do solos. (laughs) Wasn't the first and won't be the last. And the challenge you're standing before today is not gonna be your first, and it's not gonna be your last. But how you choose to go through this challenge is what's gonna make the difference. But I want to give you the secret to all of this. It's any challenge you go through, you don't have to go through it alone. There is one who's already been through the challenge. He's already overcome. He's already had to stand in front of the biggest thing that he ever had to do by laying his life down. And his name is Jesus. And he says he will never leave you. And he will never forsake you. He's going to go through the fire with you. He's going to help you to shape you and mold you as you go through the fire. So we must keep our eyes on him. I said, full disclosure, I didn't even think of praying today. I just thought of running. I don't know if Jesus wanted me to sing. So I don't know if I should have asked. But I'm sure he would have helped me if I was there. Don't think he can do miracles with the, with the, the voice box so quickly on such short notice. <laughs> But whatever you're going through, call on the name of Jesus. He died to be able to do it for you. He said, as I said in the beginning, it is finished. Amen? Amen. Does this help you to to do something different? I suffered today so that you didn't have to. (laughs) Let us pray. Thank you, Lord. That you know what, Lord, we can just sometimes just have a laugh. And we can sometimes take the things that we go through, Lord, and make it a lesson that we ourselves have to learn. Thank you for the people in your word that have gone through all these challenges and all these trials, Lord, so that we can see that it is good when we go through trials because it builds character in us. But Lord, as we go through this process of having character built in us and having our ten pegs stretched and our territories enlarged and getting out of our comfort zone, Lord, I pray that your Holy Spirit would be with us so that we don't run like I wanted to this morning. Because when it gets tough, Lord, we tend to want to run. Help us to just go into it full force, Father God, knowing that you are with us, that you are for us, and you are not against us. Help us this week, Lord. We praise you. We thank you for the good work that you've started. You are so faithful and you will bring it to completion. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. As I said, I hope this helps you this week to go and do some tough stuff. Amen.